Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. Tell me how your night's going. It's going fine. Um, should I join from my phone or my laptop? You're fine, just as you are. So tell okay. me what you disagree with about my information, my ideologies, and my viewpoints. Oh, I don't disagree with anything. Um, I was I came up here because I wanted like well, advice, like dating advice. Talk to me. Okay, so um, so I'm dating this guy, and we've been dating for like almost two months, so like a, a month for like three weeks or so. Um, okay, and... stop, 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 stop. Do you have your dad in your life? Yes. When did you take him to your dad and introduce him to your dad? I haven't. You are already in error, sweetheart. You are in grave error. And here's why. You are aware that you as a woman are an emotional creature just based on your biology, right? Yes. You will move off of your emotions if he's cute, if he makes you feel that certain way. But guess who that man who makes you feel that certain way can't get over on, can't lie to, can't manipulate the way you feel about me to? That man in your life. He can't get over on your dad. You are supposed to set up, not one, you are supposed to set up at the bare minimum three occasions where that man meets your father, your father is going to come back and tell you, baby girl, don't. Or he's going to say, I acknowledge and I understand the things that is in me as the man you love. I see some of those things in that man. You guys aren't equipped as women. That's why over in the Middle East, they have arranged marriages and their marital rates are higher than ours. Mm -hmm. You are not equipped to deal with the finessing that a man can do. Did you know that? Yes. Um, tell me how old you are. I'm 21. I'm not going to ask you this. I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, have you been careful throughout your life sexually? Yes. Actually, funny enough, you, you mentioned, like, I guess the video you showed up, or STD, whatever. The guy, the guy that I'm seeing now, I we actually, like, got tested together and, like, exchanged results. But we haven't, like, had sex yet. Okay, so I highly respect that and I encourage it. But do you know what you did when you allowed him to get tested with you? What do you, think you, what do you think you told him? That we're going to have sex. <laughs> So, yeah, you're right. I need to tell my dad. Okay. Maybe I should call him. <laughs> listen, listen. Your dad must, must be intimately involved in this situation. And if that man is not open to meeting your dad, he just exposed himself as having bad intentions towards you. Yeah. Here's what I want to ask you. What are your intentions in dating I want like committed long-term relationship. What is the point of having a committed long-term relationship and your heart is not inside of the thoughts of marriage? No, like, like, like I want to get married. Like I want to get married. I want to so you should me. leave with that. Okay. I want to tell you some vulnerable things about men. We're not as bad as you think. Okay. There are things that happen to us when we encounter beautiful women. Listen, listen, especially women like you. When we see a woman who looks like she hasn't been passed around, we view her as a virgin. And there's things that happen inside of us that we kind of can't control. Our stomachs will get those bubbles and we will start thinking about you late at night, right? Mm -hmm. Those are sexual thoughts. The thoughts you should be paying attention to is how long he talks to you on the phone. What you should be paying attention to is how long he cannot go without hearing your voice, right? What you should yeah. be paying attention to is how intimate he is with you in public, holding your hands, not being ashamed to let everybody know I'm on some serious stuff with her. Men don't typically do that about a woman that they only want to bust down and don't see much value in them. 
Yeah. Well, then, well, then, if that's the case, then things are pretty good then. <laughs> I hope we, they are. We, yeah, we talk on the phone every day for the most part. He's like pretty like consistent. Um, who calls who the most? And be honest with me. He calls me the most. He really does. Like, and how long do you guys talk on average? I would say like probably like anywhere from like forty minutes to like an hour every day. That's fine. Even if you were going to say it was twenty five minutes, that's fine, especially in today's society. But yeah. what I want you to do, you appear to be one of the more precious women in our community. We got to stop getting busted down. Did you know that? Wait, can you explain what you mean? Do you have any clue where your value goes the moment you have a baby? You have not ever thought about this? It probably declines, right? It declines, I mean, not... Pat, it declines close to 50%. Oh, okay. That's a lot. I don't care how cute you are. We talk to our friends and we say, bro, I got this girl. L hold on, look at me. Don't worry about the comments. We tell our friends, our friends mean something to us. Our peers mean something to us. Our associates mean something to us. The reason mm -hmm. we don't lock in with strippers is because our peers will make fun of us. Now, the moment we say, bro, I didn't tell you guys, but I've been rocking with this girl. Her hair is down past her shoulders. Ain't been passed around. Cute, right? Feminine. That's all fine. Yeah. You know what the first question that the brothers are going to ask us? Does she have any, any kids? 1,000%. And the mm -hmm. moment that you say that he says yes, all of the compliments, everything he told us about how amazing you were, we don't give a damn about that. He's got kids. What? You need to be, listen, you need to protect yourself. I need you to get on birth control ASAP because we got to stop having these broken children. We have to stop. I'm, I'm on birth control. Okay, that's smart. That's very smart. There's no need in any of us playing like we're holier than thou and that we can't slip up sexually, right? Yeah, exactly. Did you know this? Are you familiar with the pair bond rate? No. What is that? You're 21. Okay, so you don't know about this. But, yeah, your generation is terrible. They do. They suck. <laughs> the Actually, the guy I'm dating, he's older. That's like very intelligent of you. How old is he? He's 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 33. That's very intelligent of you. That is very intelligent. Yeah. There's not a man your age who can do for you that can buy you gifts, that can get you out of jams if you need out of jams. Men are immature. We don't begin to mature until we approach start approaching 40. Our mm, money doesn't yeah. get right until we start approaching 40. If you become a statistic... You will be letting all of us down. Did you know that? Mm, yeah. We're trying to dig our way out of this hole is what we're doing. We don't have many quality women. So if you fall into that category too, you represent all of us. Have you ever thought about that? No, I have. I have, yeah. You do. You will be one more person who somebody, other people can say something bad about us. Yeah. And you don't have to do it. The only thing that you have to do is be responsible. The very first course of action, you need to consult with your dad. If yeah. that man, you said it's been three, four months you've been dating. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I said a, I said a month and a half. Like a, like almost two months. Does like, he have any kids? <laughs> no, no kids. But he was married um, and, and he's divorced now. I don't knock that. I respect him for even getting married, right? What I will say is this. Did he grow up with both parents in the household? Yes, he did. That is a plus. So I I think you're on a good path. I can't just say 100%, but are you sure he grew up with both parents in the same household? Yes, yes. He's not like him and his father, they have like, um, like he's close with his father, but they bump heads, but he was saying that as they got older, he like understood what his father, like the vibes he was trying to instill into him. Yeah, yeah. So. That's all good. We're going to bump heads. Me and my son stopped talking for a year. 
you know, but that is children. You know, they will reach a certain age where they need to buck, right? That is mm -hmm. why lions kill when they take over a pride, they kill the youngins because those youngins will eventually start to poke their chests out, right? Mm -hmm. But you need to let him know. And listen, don't say it once. Don't say it twice. You let him know you want to be somebody's wife. Yeah. Do you have sisters? Yes, I do. But we're, um, we don't have the same dad. It doesn't matter. And you shouldn't even say that. You got, if, if you guys have the same mom, you got that half sister and thing that kills some of the intimacy of you guys being attached. You guys are sisters. You understand that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if you get sick, one of them can actually give you a blood transfusion. So you probably shouldn't. And you guys, you should tell them too. They shouldn't speak like that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. What do you, what do you, where do you see your life in the next five years? What is your career path? What, what do you have in mind? Um, I'm a software engineer. Yeah. And so you can just look my name up. It'll pop up. <laughs> or check my LinkedIn. Okay. okay. What made yeah, you go down both, that path? We're both into tech, which is also like, well, he's like way higher up than me, but. Ho, we're ho, both stop, stop, stop. Why didn't you lead with that? Lead with what? This man is into STEM technology. Yeah, we're both into tech, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't lead with that. Because like people say like, oh, I don't care about, you know, career and stuff. So I'll be like, okay, well, I'm not. I didn't leave with that. No, because well, but cause his is in, his is important. It gives me a better glimpse of the caliber of man he is. Oh, okay, I can see that. Okay. Do you know how difficult you can't just be walking down the street and trip over a can and get into STEM technology? It has to be a focus, an ambition, a drive, and a determination. You have to have been focused on this, which lets us know he has the ability to focus on things and execute when he needs to. Yeah, he's yeah, I do agree with that. He's a he's really organized and stuff. good. He's a good leader. Okay, so but listen, you really do need to involve your father in this interaction with between you and this man because irregardless, we still can't have you. You know, there's a lot of amazing men. Listen, in the black community, there's software engineers who are players. I doubt that he's one, but your father can ensure that your odds of success are high. Um okay. Where did, did you meet him online? No, I met him at like, it's like a, it's a coffee shop that's like across the street from like a Comcast building. Are you guys in the same town? No, we're not. I'm in, I'm in um, Philadelphia and he's in <laughs> Delaware. Okay. What type of drive is that? Two, uh, two hours? No, it's not two hours. It's like 40 minutes. Okay, that's still okay. That's still okay. Yeah. Does he have but his own he, vehicle? Yeah, he does. He definitely makes. He definitely like makes time. Like we, we find a way to like see each other. Like like ever since we've been dating, we spend every weekend together. Either like Friday or Saturday, and then if we're free during the week, we like spend a, like during the week together. Okay, we tell can. me tell me what your faith is. I'm Christian. So here's what I want you to do. The things that you desire out of your life, start speaking them mm -hmm. out aloud to him. That way he won't be able to be caught off guard. Any of the things he falls short of, he won't be able to tell you, well, I didn't know, right? Marriage. Mm -hmm. You have to start speaking marriage. And you have a safety net. You can tell him because of my belief in God. Because I'm just going to be honest, I'm not the best at this myself, but I'm working mm -hmm. on it. Are you aware that we bring sin into our lives when we are having sex at a wedlock? Yes, yes. I'm and that brings repercussions. Things, some people call it bad luck, but things start happening around us. And we don't understand it because we won't yeah. look around and say, oh, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, and I've been doing that. Just try to live as pure as you can, right? And I'm going to tell you this before I let you go. Don't get big. No. Do you understand that? No. If you get big, you're in trouble. <laughs> no. All right. I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel.
I appreciate you coming up. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right.